Hey guys, this is Tonto and today we've got another counter for the Emma Marauders and this time we've got Ultron with the Fantastic Four. Now, for those people who are kind of deciding if they want to kind of go with She-Hulk or not and switch their Fantastic Four onto war defense, this might be a reason why you kind of want to keep Namor on offense and keep the Fantastic Four on offense. Honestly, they just seem like a really strong team being able to, I think this is probably one of the most consistent counters to the uh, Emma Marauders. Um, I think that out of all of the kind of variations I've seen, this is the one that I've seen work the best. Uh, some of the people in my alliance swear by it, and I definitely think that this is a really great team. This is the reason I'm starting to work on my Fantastic Four a little bit more. Not because She-Hulk's coming out, but because I want these guys to be able to counter these Emma Marauders. So let's go through the various different characters, talk about what they offer to the team and what we can kind of get from them. And then we'll have a look at some footage um, as to how they kind of go. So first of all, Ultron. Now, obviously Ultron here summons the minions. So that's going to be massive because it means that uh, Sinister can then clone one of the minions um, if you're going to get really lucky but if not they're going to be pumping out a whole lot of buffs for you then you've got the ultimate there that you can kind of just finish off either Strife or Sinister or whoever you kind of have access to at the time stealing um, the positive effects and clearing Taunt with his basic is super important as well in case you get stuck behind a massive Strife there now, next up, we've got Thing. So, Thing's basically there just for damage and for protecting your Sinister Six. Ah, uh, sorry. Your Sinister Six. Your Fantastic Four characters. He gives them armor, so that's great because it means that you're kind of able to ignore some of the damage being pumped out. But most of the time, he's just there for damage. And uh, every, every once in a while, when he takes damage, he's going to punch them back. Next, you've got Namor. Uh, for some reason, Namor's icons didn't load on msf.gg, but he's basically a war god. Now, the great thing about Namor is that most people probably got like a five red star Namor. There used to be an event for a while that we got one. Um, I know I have one and it was either five or four star we got one and it was really great. I was kind of disappointed about it at the time, but God, he's insane in war. His ultimate just clears all the positive effects from the enemy, reduces their speed bar down, deals a lot of damage. His passive, chucking out all that offense up and the deflex as well, so that way you're kind of surviving for longer, being able to survive any initial damage that's kind of put out, uh, the additional damage that he gives to them, the block uh, with his special being able to deal the extra damage when it gets blocked is great in case they kind of have those deflex up still. And then he's basic just being able to deal normal damage with piercing, which is good when you've got Mr. Fantastic there who calls on a uh, Fantastic Four ally to assist whenever another Fantastic Four ally attacks. It clears blind as well. So any Emma Marauders, uh, when Emma uses her ultimate, you can kind of clear that blind away if they get called for that. Being able to clear the defense up is decently helpful. Um, it's not something that's kind of going to be used all the time, but the stun is amazing on his special there. He also uh, removes positive effects from the enemies, so any taunts or anything like that, he has the capabilities being able to remove. And then finally, you've got the protector, invisible woman here, who's able to kind of keep up that barrier for ages, the offense down as well. Um, the good thing is that I believe she goes straight after Emma's kind of first turn where Emma removes them. Now, unfortunately, um, you're mostly just going to be using that for the barrier because they're going to have immunity. Um, but if you happen to ha come against one that doesn't have all the uh, tier fours into um, getting that immunity and stuff, then you can kind of get that out there. She also removes negative effects from your team, does the stealth kind of hiding away your characters, uh, attacks anyone that has barrier, who, uh, anyone who attacks someone with barrier, she's going to assist them and attack them and obviously gives the health to the um, Fantastic Four as well. But let's check out some video. I'll be right back in just a second. Now this comes to us via Hounds or Puppies Welcome from the Agents of Z Alliance. As you can see here, this is quite a punch up. We've got 638k Marauders versus the 477k Ultron team here. We've got def defense down at the start. They've got the uh, defense up. Not that that really matters because they start with defense up obviously because of Emma, um, but it's as you can see, it's a massive kind of punch up. So let's check it out and see exactly what we do here um, to kind of make sure that we're going to win this fight. So um, here we go. Loading screen. Loading screens take a little bit sometimes. Okay, so 
So we're spawning in. Put it up to three times. I really wish that that would save it to three times. So obviously on spawn, we're going to get the defense, uh, the deflex and the offense up here from Namor, which is great. Uh, they're going to start with the defense up. We're going to get the defense down. Okay, so here we go. So first of all, uh, Mystique's going first. Oh, sorry, Mystique. No, Strife Strife went first and taunted Mystique assist. And then you've got Mystique coming over here using her ultimate onto um, the Ultron there. So there we go. So Ultron's almost dead already. We've got the slow there from um, Emma. Now, all right. So here's, here's what I was trying to think of earlier that I kind of got a bit wrong. So Emma came along and applied the slow to us, used her special, gave them all immunity. However, then Namor is going. Namor is able to remove buffs, removes basically all of their immunities. As you can see here, only Strife ended up with immunity and Emma. So that's not too bad. That means that we're able to apply the defense, uh, the offense down with our invisible woman not long after that. And as you can see here, there we go, offense down. So we're going to summon with uh, Ultron there. So that way, not only do we get the buffs from Ultron being able to kind of buff himself up, but you've also got the fact that Sinister is going to go not long after this and have the chance to clone one of these buffs as well. The good thing is the timing is great for Ultron on this counter because none of these guys are going to go really before um, Sinister goes next. And that means that Sinister is most likely going to have, um, he has a higher chance of being able to clone one of these um clone one of these Ultron bots. Now, if he clones Ultron, there's still obviously a chance that you're able to win. You're still able to do that. It's going to be more difficult, but even if he clones like Mr. Fantastic, it's not too bad. Invisible Woman probably is going to be a bit annoying. Um, same with Namor, um, although Namor will then be on war defense instead of offense. So he's not going to have as much being able to do with his ultimate there. So we're going to come in with a basic here. There's not really a need to use the ultimate um, with uh, Mr. Fantastic here, there's no one with defense up that we kind of want to be nuking straight away. So it doesn't matter if you kind of get a bit of chip damage on them instead. And here we go. We're going to use, start doing the Ultron buffs. We've got the ultimate here. Oh, that, that was a special. I think it was a special from um, Thing there. Uh, give me a sec to double check on that. Things was things was his special there, getting the multiple hits instead of the big hit. Um, I guess the special does more damage, so that's probably more worthwhile. Uh, while the also is more of, like to finish off. Um, I I can I can respect that. I think that was definitely the better play there. Now we've got the ultimate here from Ultron being able to almost finish off Strife, which is great. We want Strife out of the way to start with. Strife is probably the most annoying character on the um on the Emma Marauders um, because he's the one who you're more likely to get stuck behind some of them others do more damage more annoying things like uh sinister cloning and emma doing her ultimate and special is very annoying but getting stuck behind a big strife is really really annoying so trying to get him out of the way at the start is really great now here sinister's cloning and an ultron minion which is fine we don't mind if he claims an ultron minion them getting offense up is a bit annoying obviously we can here use the special from um, the special from Namor there to get some chip damage onto them and fairly decent chip damage as well. Now there you could see that uh, Mystique came and flipped a lot of our buffs, which is a bit annoying. Uh, obviously, uh, Fantastic here is going to get a whole lot of debuffs, but it's not too bad because we've got the buff, uh, the special here from a invisible woman coming up soon so that way we can kind of hide them away here we've got the special the special from um uh, from fantastic there applying the stun onto sinister which is good we don't need to kind of deal with him straight away and there you can see invisible woman removed all of those annoying debuffs on us you've got here uh ultron hiding away even though he's kind of low and now you can kind of start just railing on sinister get sinister out of the way and it's an easier fight as well you can see there the ultimate um from thing onto sinister dealt a lot of damage there unfortunately sinister took his turn kind of balanced it all out thing so the way um 
the way Invisible Woman's special works is that she hides everyone except for the person with the highest health, um, highest health remaining. So Thing was obviously the one that was kind of left there, which is fine. Thing's kind of a a pseudo tank. He doesn't have any kind of tanking abilities, but he has like the stats of a tank. So that's good. We don't mind if he kind of gets hit at the start as well. So here we're going to try and take out Sinister as fast as possible. We've got the ultimate backup from Ultron. We're using the ultimate here from Fantastic to deal a lot more damage than just using his basic to kind of just get that Sinister out of the way. You can see there, Sinister's gone. That's okay. We've still got everyone alive. Invisible Woman is being able to be kind of keeping us alive with the her um, passive there. Uh, sorry, with her um, special with the barrier, or ultimate with the barrier. Um, sorry, I just got a little bit confused there. Uh, finishing off Sabretooth here. Realistically, we don't need to worry too much about Emma. Emma's already used her special and her ultimate. Her special's obviously back up there, um, but that's not too bad. It's not going to kind of annoy us. It's a little bit slow, like we're going to be slower, but we can still kind of get this out of the park here. Now there, the ultimate from... Um, Ultron onto the Mystique because obviously the Sabretooth is almost dead. That would be a kind of a waste of an ultimate kind of use it on her, uh, use it on him. So you're better off just kind of using it on the person who's lower. And then there we're finishing off Sabretooth easily. Now Mystique's the only one left except for Emma. So we're just going to kind of finish um, Mystique off here. And there we go. Now there's just Emma left. So you can see here, it's kind of a pretty easy fight. Like we don't need to kind of really worry about it. We haven't got lost anyone or anything. It's not as risky as using um, power armor or defenders with Ultron. Um, the annoying thing here is obviously that she's got this massive armor from her, um, her charges. And she's not really taking a turn because all the Ultron bots are slowing her down. We just use the massive damage here just slowly kind of chipping her away. She's not getting a turn, so it's not too bad. Like we're not kind of stressing about her almost going or anything like that. And there we go, she's out of the way. And just to make sure that you guys don't think I'm, there we go. So, and you can see there, it's also near the start of the war. So it's not like they had the armory and they didn't have the barracks or anything like that. It is a pretty fair fight there. And that was a massive punch up. That was what, uh, if I just bring it back to the start, we can have a look at exactly what kind of punch up that was. There we go. So you can see there, that's what, 150K, 160K punch up. That's really crazy. This team is insane. It's really, really great. So again, just to remind you guys which ones are kind of coming along. Now there is some people who bring um, Human Torch instead of Namor, or I think it's Human Torch instead of Thing, one of those two. Um, I think that this is kind of the best configuration of them. Um, obviously you've got Ultron here chucking out his bots. You've got Thing there kind of pseudo tanking while also dealing a whole lot of damage. You've got Namo, 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 Lamo, uh, Namo coming along with his ultimate just dealing a lot. Uh, he, he's just a really crazy good character. Honestly, are you really going to kind of lose the opportunity to counter Fantastic, uh, counter the Emma Marauders just to be able to have an extra war defense team? I don't think it's really worth it. Then you've got Mr. Fantastic there doing all that kind of really cool supporty stuff, especially with the assists. The assists here is kind of a, a thing that you don't think about until obviously it comes up and then it's just, wow, okay, he's... he's pumped out so much damage over the course of it. And then Invisible Woman is one of the best protectors in the game without actually being a taunter or anything like that. Like just her crazy, um, her crazy just chucking out the offense downs and chucking out that stealth and defense up and everything like that. It's just really good. But I'd love to hear if you guys have had any success with this. I think that this is probably the best Emma, um, Emma Marauders counter, um, but I want to know what you guys think. That's it for today. I hope you had a great day and goodbye.